Hi, my name is David Miller. I'm the owner of Mainframe Customs, and we specialize in custom sleeve cables. Generally in small form factor PCs, you may want to use 18 gauge just because it's more flexible. Whereas 16 gauge is going to give you a much stiffer cable and it's going to be hard to manage. So the power supply, each power supply has its own pinout and it's specific to that brand. So you never want to interchange cables between power supplies. That could end up bad. Sometimes it's okay because they, they share the same pinout, but just to be safe, I would always check the pinout to make sure that it is in fact the same pinout. It's so a new Oros 1200 watt power supply. It has this really nice new screen built into it, which you can monitor your PC stats, like your temperatures and your CPU frequencies. It's 1200 watts, so it's got plenty of juice and power for especially new generation cards. <laughs> got some lenses in here. Got some cheap, cheap, got cheap lenses right here. 50% off. 50% off. Definitely check out Pier 39. It's the hot spot. Tourist. I got into computers around 2006 when I was in high school. I've always been an avid PC gamer, but I was never into the custom element of PCs, so to speak. And it wasn't until I saw my friend, he built his first custom computer sophomore year of high school. And I remember the day when he opened the trunk of his car and there was his custom PC. And I looked at it and I was like, that is amazing. What is it? Because I've never seen a custom computer like that before. And so from that day on, right then and there, I went home and just did research, research every day, day in and day out, just reading forums, uh, watching YouTube video. Well, YouTube wasn't even around then, but um, well, yeah, I was. I was watching YouTube videos, a lot of YouTube videos, Reddit, um, and uh, forums over clocked on net, stuff like that. So there's so many different ways to go about cable sleeving. Everyone kind of gets their own knack for it. Um, there's not really one specific correct way to do it. Uh, the way I learned, and I had a great mentor for this, and which is what I highly recommend for people if you're if you're getting into this, watch YouTube videos. You know that helps tremendously. Um, I'll be putting out a lot of content as my, myself to do it on how to do it, so people can watch and and learn from that. Uh, but for me, the mentor, the guy who I purchased this, the supplies from originally, he was a great mentor mentor for me at the time. He was uh, really big in the in the cable sleeving uh, community. And uh, so having a good mentor, I think is, is really very helpful.
So the color scheme initially is probably one of the biggest things I think for a PC, especially if the colors don't don't go well, then the PC, it, it can ruin a PC, quite frankly. Uh, so what I always tell people is always start with one standard color. So either have like red, blue, green, purple, yellow, whatever main color you wanna focus on, use that as your main color on your cable and then focus the rest around complementing that color. So you can either go with neutrals, grays, blacks and whites look really well really good with any kind of main color so i always try to tell people you know stick with that and there's you really can't go wrong There's a lot of challenges that people might face when doing custom cables. Uh, you know, I get some comments here and there, like I've tried it a few times and it just wasn't for me. Um, and you really just gotta, you gotta persevere and get past that. I think the biggest misconception people have is self-doubt. When you self-doubt yourself, that then puts a hinder on your, your creativity, right? So I think once people get past that, try it, try it a few more times, you know, you'll eventually get it. I was the same way. I didn't get it initially right away. It took me a few tries, and then once I got it, the hang of it, I was like, oh, this is, this is actually pretty fun. And, uh, and that's how I continued with it and got to where I am now.